Now we gathered this weekend with our family and friends for Thanksgiving. Odds are football was a huge part of it and somewhere Tyler Francis was watching every snap of the sport he loves. And while he was doing that, those who know him were thankful that every day they get to be a part of his life and help him accomplish a dream and a moment they'll remember forever. Okay, here it comes. Tyler Francis starts his day How are you? like most of the students at Heritage Middle School. He takes the bus, goes to class, and like the sun that rises over campus each morning, he brightens everyone's day. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I love starting my days with him because he makes everybody happy. <laughs> he always smiles. I mean, he'll, you know, joke around with us. I mean, we always have a blast. <laughs> Keep going. When he comes to school, he's around all of his friends and teachers and everyone that, that he knows and loves, and this is his atmosphere. He's at ease here. And while Tyler's comfort zone is the classroom, his obsession is like most 12-year-old boys, in Texas. He has a huge passion for football. <laughs> huge. It seems like every day he's got to go outside and whether it's by himself or with brothers, he'll toss the ball around. And just about every day after school, he does. Tyler's love for football is simple, straightforward, unlike the rest of his life. Awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, he's nonverbal, but his receptive language, he understands and he gets it and he knows exactly what he wants. How are the Cowboys doing? <laughs> we took him to the Mayo Clinic whenever he was five. We knew he wasn't hitting the milestones like he should be. And as he started getting a little bit older, uh, noticed he wasn't talking like some of the other kids were. What his disability is doesn't actually have a name. It's just a developmental disability. Tyler finds ways during his classes to communicate with teachers and friends. Is that hot or cold? Cold. He sometimes yeah. uses a voice box that speaks for him, but he doesn't need it to show you exactly how he feels. Hey, what do you Aww. think about Taylor? What do you think? <gasps> She's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> From the time he was little, Tyler was very active in other sports and Special Olympics. And as he was about to start the seventh grade, his family thought it may be time for a shot at something bigger. During PE, they could see that he had a little more in him than what physical education was providing. So they decided to try him in the athletics program. I wanted him to be with what he loves, and that's football. <laughs> and so um, I talked with some of the coaches and his parents, and we all agreed that that's to give it a whirl. Is that your mouthpiece that goes in your mouth? Mm -hmm. And then how do you carry the ball? Uh. Tyler would learn the game as a member of the Heritage Broncos seventh grade squad. His new morning routine now included football pads, football practice, go, 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 go. and best of all, a team. Two, three, Broncos! Sort of like a little brother to me, you know? Yeah! Tyler just made me feel warm inside because I know that I have someone by my side. When they rally around him and accept him, that's awesome. Got a new it, buddy. it was clear that football was having an effect on Tyler oh, there you go. and Tyler on his team. It was an observation that prompted a game changer and one of the easiest decisions Coach Turner would ever make. Tyler Francis would play football in the final home game of the season. We played Colleyville late in the season, and I figured that uh, knowing their coaching staff with, you know, being the, the sister school of ours, that they would probably be receptive to it. With his teammates by his side, he led the Broncos through the banner and onto the field. Then just after halftime, Coach Turner made the call. You're in, first play after yeah. the kickoff, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ready? <laughs> he likes to throw it and we were trying, no, Tyler, you have to run with the ball, and I want you to score, not somebody else to score. Everybody was cheering in the stands, and he did what he was uh, coached to do. Did they push him out of the way for they you? They for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you and ran. You ran. Oh, Touchdown? Touchdown. 
to see all the team huddled together and he's being carried off on one of their shoulders. You know, he's got the biggest grin on his face and he's not letting go of that ball for anything. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> In 12 years of teaching special education, that was the best day of my teaching career. Tell me a touchdown. You know, it didn't matter what was on the scoreboard. You know, all you had to do was look at his face. He's just a normal little boy inside, wants to play football, and uh, he got his wish. For that little individual, I, I couldn't, couldn't ask for a more perfect day. Like a true competitor, after all the celebration following Tyler's touchdown, he went right up to his coach, tapped him on the shoulder, and pointed right back out to the field. He wanted to be put in on the very next play.